over the Philippines, we have so many kinds of steamed rice cake, which we also call puto. Today, I'm going to show you a puto, which is kalasyao style. Let's get started. For our rice cake or puto, this one is kalasyao style. You need 250 grams of rice flour, one half cup of sugar, one and a half cups of water, one fourth cup of rice flour, one cup water, three fourths teaspoon of instant dry yeast, three fourths teaspoon of baking powder. We have rice flour here, plain rice flour, huh? And then you have sugar. You mix this together. And then we add in water. We add in one and a half cups of water. All right? Once the mixture is smooth, you set it aside. Then here we have this is one fourth cup of rice flour. Then you have water. We're going to make a roux. It means we're going to cook this until it starts to thicken. Okay, just low heat. And stir this, don't leave this. Stir it continuously until the mixture starts to thicken. This will only take a few minutes. So watch it. For the kalashao style of puto, you know there are many kinds of puto, but for the kalashao style, this rule or this step is very, very important, so you should not miss this. Okay, now I can see it's starting to thicken now. Until we start to form a thick base. You can see. Here, okay, once you see that, that's good. So you turn off the heat. See? This is the paste that we're looking for. Alright, next, we're going to add this to our first mixture. And then you stir this well. Okay. And then we add in yeast. Okay. Uh, some add the yeast and the baking powder together. What I do is I add the yeast, I let it rise, and then I add baking powder. Okay? I don't add them together. But you can if you like. But I feel um, the baking powder works better after the yeast has risen. Okay? So you mix this. And you let it, uh, you cover this and you wait for one hour or 45 minutes until you see bubbles and then we're going to add the baking powder before we steam it okay so let's set this aside okay 45 minutes to one hour this is how our puto mixture will look like after 45 minutes see you can see uh, there are bubbles on top there's fermentation and then now I'm going to add my baking powder and then you stir and then I let it sit for 5 to 10 minutes before I put them into the mold you stir it well because you want to take out the old bubbles okay so you mix that until most of the big bubbles will disappear okay this one th this is the size of the puto cup I'm going to use this is medium Okay, you get a paper towel and wipe this with oil. You may not put oil because this is plastic. However, the oil will make it so much easier to unmold. By the way, for the puto, you can also replace the liquid instead of water. You can use coconut milk. Okay. So we will wait a few minutes, 5 to 10 minutes before we start to put them in the mold and then we steam this for about 10 to 15 minutes depends on how strong your steam is all right after five minutes you stir it again okay and then we scoop this this one this is about two tablespoon 
I only put one and a half, okay? Right, let's put this in the steamer. And then we cover this. You put a cloth so the steam will not drip into the puto. Okay? Then you fold this over so it will not burn. We'll check after 10 to 15 minutes. I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded. This is the puto after 15 minutes. So we can take this out and pull it down. Here's our puto here. See, it's very light, very soft. And when you open it, it has a nice texture inside. Let's right, see.